Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com with a video about Butter CMS, which is a headless CMS. And I think headless CMSs are cool, which is why I have this headless development playlist. Where I'm going over different headless solutions. Now, what does that headless mean again? It means not having to build your own custom backend. And having a CMS means a content management system, meaning that having that visual graphical um, method of being able to manage your backend data. So different headless solutions I've talked about so far are things like ex using Excel spreadsheets, which have limitations, using Airtable, which has lim limitations, and um, using a Mongo Stitch, uh, which generates an API for you, but it's not necessarily a, a CMS in the sense that you can really graphically manage your data. So this will be the first of the actual headless CMSs that I'm going over. I hope to go over uh, several of them because they're all really cool. So this is Butter CMS, and again, the idea here is this. You log into Butter, you can manage the types of data you want, graphically manage the data, and then you would pull it into your front end using um, just building out a front end application and pulling it in through via an API. See, so as you can see here. So I'm logged in, so let me create, uh, we have an account. I got 21 days left in my trial. Now let's see here. Um, okay, so the, you, let's explore here. Home. Okay, so here they're just ask, showing you all the different ways we can connect to our API that we're going to build out. Blog posts. Okay, so this is an example blog, I guess. Pages. So I'm assuming these are built in models. So we have a built in blog module. So I can basically write blog posts here. Okay, and then we'll get to the part where we get to the API. But I can, let's see here, let's click on the right new post, see what it's like. Okay, so this is pretty cool. You know, all your normal blog stuff, all built out for you. And here we have, if you want to create pages, which is interesting. Um, let's see here. SEO title, headline. Okay, preview this. Preview URLs used when previewing this page and is where you will be taken when you click the preview button. Interesting. So let's just type in alexmercedcoder.com supposedly. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, go back in, log in. Pages. So assuming this is just the data for the page and we would retrieve this data using the API. So it's just another model. Collections, what's a collection? Leave. And let's click on new collection. Got it. So here I think we can create a new type of data. So let's see here. Let's try to create a dog. So let's see here. Short text. Okay. Name. And then we will create a number field for age. Okay. And then we click create collection. Let me name the collection anywhere, obviously. Okay, create collection. We'll call this dog. Okay, it's uh, saved. So now if I go back to collections. And then here I can add to dog. So I can create as many dogs as I want. Okay, I see. Okay, and then here we're saving basically kind of like a you can store different files that's pretty cool and there's users okay so that's pretty straightforward okay so you can easily make blogs and pages and just basically create an API for all your blog and page data and then you can create custom collections which is what this is for awesome okay so let's see how this API works I want to try and write a hey, select your tech below you'll need this I just want to work with the actual URL so let's see what this says here 
Right, let's request the command line v2 page one your token page slash v2 slash posts okay so let me go add some dogs so let's go over here add some dogs sparky who's h5 okay Let's back to edit item. I want to make another new item. So let's make another new item. Biff, who's six. Got it. Okay, so we got two dogs. That's enough for us to kind of test out what we're doing here. So according to this, let's copy this URL and we'll just kind of work with it from there. Okay, so let's see here. V post was going to be dogs because it's our dogs model page equals one page size auth token equals your api token so we need to put our api token there which is this thing right here but generally you'd want to keep secret in some shape or manner but uh again we're just playing with this detail not found is it dog maybe Let's try the dog. Let's see here. Any of your content dashboard, collections, collections or tables. I'm just at that AP V2 pages. Cocktails. Okay, so then theoretically this should be pages slash dogs, according to the documentation. Pages slash dogs. Uh, let's see here. Oh no, it's called dog. So let's try dog. Nope. Let's keep reading. There's always the thing with headless CMS is you have to kind of get acquainted with their API. Just take a second, but I just wanted to kind of let you guys see how quickly I can do it. These characters, of course, show up in the API response, your cocktails. So let's see here, page, facets, collections. I better see be We'll see my feature page. Ah, here we go. API better seem as V2 content artist. So let's try that. So when I get to our custom dogs content dog. There we go. There's Sparky and Biff. Okay, so you see, you can just pull the information nice and easy there. <coughs> and I'm assuming there's a way you can post data as well. Okay, but that's that's the main deal. Okay, so right there, you already have the API ready to go. To pull in the dog so basically what you can do is you build your front end and then let's say you have a client who needs that graphical back end you can use something like butter cms they can log in add their dogs add their products and the api is pretty much already built out for you you don't have to sit there and separately go build out an express api or ruby on rails api this is kind of already built out for you and see i can just take this data and begin building out my website so that's pretty neat okay and this was actually pretty cool because it already has like the blog thing built in. So building a blog or um, building out pages is actually pretty easy. And you can pull in, I guess you could pull in pages and gen dynamically generate a navigation menu and uh, links to the pages. I can, that I can imagine being done. And then, yeah, you can create custom objects. You can again, upload media. So files, audio, PDFs, images. So you could probably do a podcast pretty easily there. 
And then they do also have libraries for working directly in some of these, so that way it's even easier. Whether you're using like, um, you're doing it in the front end or back end, it, it, there's all sorts of tools as far as how to connect to the API. So overall, that's pretty cool. Um, overall, I mean, if you're building, if you need a headless CMS, is actually not a bad solution. Um, there is a free trial. Let's go to pricing. Um, but I don't think there's like a free free plan. There's like a free developer plan. So that way you can just test it out. Um, and then here are the prices for the other plans. So $49 a month allows you, I'm assuming that's is that 50 blog posts total or uh, reference field. I mean, based on the way it's worded, I'm gonna have to assume that's big 50 blog posts total. Okay, unlimited users. Okay, um, unless it's 50 blog posts a month. Okay, and then here you get extra features like components, image editor, write API. Here you can have multiple sites at the agency level, which is probably, again, if you're a freelancer, that's probably what you're going to look into. You you build out, you just create all these different CMS, web, Butter CMS websites for your customers and, and, then, and then build them so that way uh, you maintain it, you set them up as users. But um, you could probably do it more economically uh, as an agency and provide, and then charge your customers a markup, I'd imagine. So that's something to look into. Um, yeah. So here you can see what the pricing is. Um, and I'm not going to, let's see here. And then that's, if we just turn that off the monthly. So this would be if you actually paid every month. This is if you pay the full year up front. Okay. And yeah, that's a little bit about Butter CMS. It looks like a pretty easy to use and pretty easy to implement a headless CMS. Um, the only downside I can say is that there's sort of no sort of lightweight free or cheaper plan than $49 a month um, for the more casual website. But I guess the, this is really more targeting more professional websites, professional level. Um, you know, people who are really doing this to, you know, as a business uh, versus, you know, creating another WordPress blog or something. Uh, okay. I will see you guys later on. This is a, you guys have a great day and enjoy.